All right, developers, I am really getting my compression tummy control briefs in a bunch here. John Duckett, the John Duckett, if you are familiar with this book, this number one bestseller classic JavaScript book, that you know who John Duckett is. For those of you not familiar, he's a god to many code newbies. A few years ago, it was announced that he would be releasing a PHP in my sequel book. Yes, a few years ago. I believe it was late 2017 when I first heard about this. And I don't know, like two years ago, it was being promoted on Amazon as a pre-order. Well, I pre-ordered it, I don't know, probably a year and a half ago, maybe even, maybe even earlier. It just keeps getting bumped up and bumped up. This book is I don't think this book is ever coming out. Now, the reason I have to cut ties with Mr. Duckett, divorce, if you will, is that I cannot take this hurt. It's getting to the point where we're, ha we're having irreconcilable differences. This was supposed to be the book, the book for PHP and new developers. There are very little resources out there that are modern and engaging for PHP. That's just the way it is. PHP has a bad rap by, I don't, I mean, I guess I do know why, but also too, you can't fake the stats. Now, I don't know how accurate w 3 Tex is. I've used this for research previously, uh, but you know, I've not visited every website and web app out there. But according to this site, PHP is used by 78.4% of all the websites whose server-side pro programming language they know. So reinforcing that statistic, WordPress stats. According to Hosting Tribunal, oh, that doesn't sound good. WordPress, a tribunal for WordPress is used, WordPress is used to power 39.6% of the internet this figure has risen by nearly 5% since 2020 and is a 4% rise from 2019. PHP is an incredibly popular language. It's just, it just doesn't have the sexiness factor of JavaScript. However, we also have things like Laravel, PHP 8, PHP 7 was a huge upgrade and it pays the bills. Plus my sequel with this book, Let's just rewind here and talk about John Duckett for a moment because this JavaScript and jQuery book, now I got this book a little bit later after I started my coding journey. I regret not having it from day one. Now, mind you, it is from 2014. However, the basics of programming that are illustrated in this book, in my opinion, absolutely unmatched. I have multiple paperback copies of this book. I grab it every time I'm out and I see it in a thrift store or used bookstore, garage sale, what have you. These diagrams and illustrations are absolutely marvelous. I've never seen there. I mean, there's really nothing to compare it to. It's tops. And he also has a, if we go to his author page, now I'm not sure if John Duckett has been legitimately um, abducted either by humans or aliens, or if he's like an AI. Like I, I tried to research him, but there's no LinkedIn, no like socials, none of that stuff I could find. No profile pic. I just don't know where this guy's at. So HTML and CSS, this was a pretty good one too. Uh, it has the same layout and same style as the JavaScript and jQuery book. As you can see in here, same cover, just beautiful, beautiful design but this one also is getting a little old. However, again, for the basics, if you can find it for cheap, still still something good to have on your bookshelf, in my opinion. Now, there are much more recent and relevant resources out there, but I, it still stands in a class by itself. And so this is why this is so disappointing because PHP is a language that needs John Duckett. We need this book and I don't think it's ever coming out. I might be having to write the next PHP book, the next great PHP book, because there is no one out there apparently willing to publish it. Now, speaking of publishing, I have this book coming out in just over a week, the Encyclopedia of Online Coding Platforms. It's 99 freaking cents. Go pre-order that Encyclopedia of Online Coding Platforms. It's my sixth book. Check out my other book reviews. People love my freaking books. I mean, I'm not trying to compare myself to my ex, Mr. Duckett, but P 
people have been digging my writing. I have a book called Freelance Newbie, How to Get a Job in Web Development, Real Tough Software, Tiny YouTube, Portfolio Surgery, and now the Encyclopedia of Online Coding Platforms, the ultimate A to Z handbook for learning how to code. I like pumping out and publishing books. I'm just saying. The same can't be said for some other publishers out there. <laughs>